Hey guys, I uh, want to do a quick video post here and show and explain to everyone what I uh, what I'm thinking, what's gonna what's gonna happen. This stuff will be gone, so there'll be room right there. Um, all the DIY speakers are gonna go all right here. There's room here, there's also room in this corner that goes to a storage room, so that's gonna be closed at all times. All the furnaces are in there. Um, plan is to have, again, all, there'll be another Magnum sub on that side too. So if all the DIY speakers play here, um, I may even change that over there where all the, where this table is. I may move this someplace else. I'm not sure yet where to put it. Maybe I'll take that and I'll put it behind the bar to save some room. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Um, but the plan is, again, this is, uh, I want to make this kind of like a, uh, everyone gets involved. I think everyone will have more fun that way if we do it this way. So here's what we do. Got all these subs, you know, well, mostly this side. There'll be another one on that side. So here's what it is. Like Brian's bringing his 1099s. Um, JC's getting the HDM 12s. Pete's, I could go on and on and on. Pete's Fusion 8s. There's a ton of stuff coming. So this is what I'm thinking. We set it up. The AVR, which is upstairs now, will be brought down. I'll put it on top along with the iNuke amp, plus the um, power strip right there. I'll have a 35 millimeter plug going into your cell phone for everyone. You guys get to pick whatever speakers you want, and you could basically play the, the Value Buster one with the PA460 by date and the Stereo Integrity HD 18s or the DY Sound Group Magnum 12s will be two. You know, you play whatever you want to hear, whatever song you want to play on your phone. I think that would be a lot of fun because everyone has different tastes in music and likes different stuff and wants to hear different things. How do those Stereo Integrity subs sound? What about the Magnum 12s? You know, you'll you'll get a better understanding of certain songs everyone likes. So that's what we're gonna do for that. Um, Darren is also gonna recone a speaker. Um, so I'm not sure if we're gonna do it on top of the bar or if we do it over here. I just gotta find another table. If someone local has like another white table that's like that, please call me or just bring it with. We could really use one more. All I have is one that I got from Costco. Um, and here, here's another thing too. This is gonna be the room that Audio Thesis is set up in. It's gonna be all two channel stuff. Um, whole have this whole area set up. From what Skip is telling me, he's gonna have some room treatments. Um, I have some other panels that I'm gonna put underneath to boost his panels up a little bit farther. I thought about maybe building something, but I have stuff he could actually prop it on top of. So it'll save me some time and money. So I think I'm going to go that route. Um, but yeah, that will be Skip's room. And then um, it's a pretty big room. It's like 11 by 14, I think. The basement's pretty big, though. It's, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of room back here. So maybe we could put that big white table back here because my cabinets have not come in yet. This whole thing will be, not the whole thing, but a lot of it will be cabinets after the get together meet for the bar. I just, uh, they, I ordered them, they haven't come in yet. But um, this is the basement though, and then of course, um, the theater room, which is an absolute disaster right now. So I've been doing a lot of measuring. But um, again, there's my microphone right there. Just trying to do, and then the stuff you see on the ceiling, that's where I'm gonna put some um, panels up there for the first, reflection points of the speakers and subs and stuff. I'm going to take that down actually tonight or tomorrow. But um, yeah, I don't know. All this, I got to clean all this up. I've just been trying to make sure um, that everything's kind of dialed in and stuff. So, but um, yeah, but that's it though. So that's, that's the room and this is where we're going to be. This is what I was thinking. Oh, another thing too is if you see like the basement it gets loud down here it gets really loud when this room when this room is 130 db plus 130 135 i have no idea what it'll play at i my mic clips it tap my mic taps out so i don't know how loud the room gets but it's it's well in the one mid 130 db range 
Um, when that's playing, everybody out here, all these doors, they, they flex like this. It sounds like it's about to rip off the wall. So there's no way Skip is going to be able to do any type of two channel listening or people out here and be able to have any type of decent sound when that room is going because of the noise all the walls makes, all the duct work that's above here. There's three, three sets of trunks up here for three furnaces. So it's, um, yeah, everything shakes and moves and makes noise. So the plan is first 15 minutes of the hour, I will demo stuff in my room. Then I'm gonna shut off the, uh, turn everything down, not shut it off, but turn it all down. Um, then Skip could have a chance doing his listening and then all the rest of the guys can listen to all the DIY speakers as well too. And during that too, a couple great ideas is um, I was gonna teach like a little REW class, room, e room EQ wizard, and how to take like just a basic measurement, what you do, where you place your mic, how you do it, all that stuff. Um, but Matt now, my buddy Matt is now going to do that. Thank you, Matt. And um, so he'll do that. He's got 45 minutes in there to do that. I'm also gonna, me personally, gonna show guys that are kind of new to WinISD how to do that, how to input a driver and how to, how to um, what a, uh, model a sub, what all that means. So I'll have time in there to do that, but uh, I'll be a short, quick, easy one. Show guys what to do. And that's about it though. So we're two days out. I'm super excited. Um, I'm ready. I finally hooked up the refrigerator, which is not on. I'm going to turn it on tomorrow. But that um, finally got electric back there. I've been slack and been kind of lazy, but I finally ran electric to that bar. So I'm sorry, the fridge. So we're good to go. Um, I'll have something on the TV going. Maybe I'll just put like a little John Wick going just for some ambient, something for people to look at or something, even though everyone will be busy. But that's it though. I hope to see everyone here soon. We are now up to 40 plus guys. So I've had a few people call, text, PM and ask if a few uh, people could come. So yeah, it's going to be a very, very busy day. A lot of people. It's going to be a lot of fun and I hope to see everyone there. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.